Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at this little guy. Now this is Eilik, and he's a little desktop companion. Now uh, this was originally available through Indiegogo. It was kind of a crowdfunded thing, and I decided to jump on it. I saw the commercial for it, and it looked really cool. It's a very interactive and animated little robot that you can see here. Um, on the side here, it just kind of talks about some of the details that he has, and we'll kind of go through all of this. And on the back, it shows a lot of the technology. There's a lot of stuff crammed into there. I actually am impressed that they managed to get it in there. I mean, there's screens, there's servos, there's a little vibration thing, there's sensors on the head, the back, the belly, and his little arms will move as well. And I think there's a sensor on the bottom as well. So we're going to have to open this up and check him out. All right, so let's take a look at this. There's a sleeve that comes off of this. Oh, that's interesting. They got some, uh, wow, that's pretty neat. They got some cool little pictures in here. Looks like little comics or something. Very nice look on this packaging. Here's the other side of it. Let's take a look at this box. More uh, nice artwork that they got going on here. Alright, now let's see. i got to figure out how this opens. So let me figure out which way to open this box. Okay, so it opens up from this front section here. So let's take a look at little Eilek here. And, whoa! Whoa, he's big! That is amazing! I thought, wow, he's way bigger than I thought he was. You know, in the commercials, he only looks to be about, like, this big. I mean, he looks really small. This is, wow, I am absolutely surprised at this. There's some stuff up here at the top of the box talks about his sensors. I'm going to have to read all the instructions to figure out what all of this is. Wow, I am very impressed by the size of this little guy. Let's see if I can get him out of here. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay, there's some stuff in the box as well. Let's take a look at him first. Wow, I still can't believe how, how big he is. Alright, looks like he's packaged to uh, withstand a hurricane. <laughs> oh wow, this is really neat. Now, uh, the company that makes this is Energize Labs is their name. And I gotta say they've been really good about keeping us all up to date on the production of these guys. They were showing uh, any kind of uh, work that was being done at the factory and um, you know keeping us up to date on when the shipments are going to be around. It looks like there's a protective film on here. But, oh this is so cool. He's made of a really soft uh, material. It's, I've, you know, I've felt this stuff before. Wow, this is really very impressive, the quality of it. There's a little connector piece, because you can actually connect more than one eyelet together, and they'll actually interact with each other. That's that sensor on the bottom that detects if you picked him up, because I don't think he likes to be picked up. <laughs> and there's a sensor up here on the head. There's a button right here. I think there's a sensor here on his belly. And there's going to be a sensor probably in this area. So it's pretty cool how they can integrate all of this. All right, well, let's take a look at what else comes with this little guy. Okay, so there's another box in here. Let's open this up. And looks like there's some instructions, which I will definitely have to read. Because I'm, I'm really not that familiar, to be honest with you, what, what all he does. I've only seen some things. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. So I think this was part of the uh, Kickstarter. It was like a little bonus. You would get these little pieces of food. There's like a coffee mug right there. Looks like a, what is that? Looks like a waffle or something. Um, looks like a bottle of a drink. Not sure what that is either. Very cool. Uh, these are neat and they're magnetic. So they will stick on Ilex's hands. And then let's see what else do we got. Uh, looks like there's a what is this? Oh, I see. We got a USB. So uh, this has got to be for his recharging. Oh, there's the magnets. Look at that. Look like those little neodymiums. So that's what's going to make him hold those items. And then we got a recharging cable. All right, very cool. All right, well, let me read the instructions and figure out what to do. Okay, so he's fully charged now. So let's turn him on and see what he does. Get to press and hold this middle button. Ooh, there he goes. Okay, now I'm going to have to probably turn this down. 
There we go. So we can see his face. Okay, here he is. <laughs> wow, he looks cool. So let's see. I think we can touch his head. Oh, that's weird. He vibrates. Hmm, he seems to be a little unhappy. Oh, now he's crying. All right, so I don't know what I did wrong. Let me see if rubbing his belly helps. Hmm, let me see. Let me see if the back rubs better. <laughs> he's got some great sounds. Okay, now he's really mad. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's take a look here. I don't know if that's a sound sensor right here. I'm not sure. You'd think that petting him on the head would be something that he likes. Maybe if you press and hold it. It's weird, he vibrates when you touch him. Um, at least on the head, I'm not feeling any vibration from here. Let me see if the... Okay, the back. <laughs> okay, all right. Now let's see what he does. I can't feel where the sensor is up here. He doesn't vibrate. Oh, here it is. It's way down here. Okay, now... <laughs> all right. I'm not sure what he's doing. Let me see here. Hmm. So it's almost like he doesn't like to be touched or something. I don't really know. Oh, well, now he's happy. Let me see. All right, let me see if I can turn him up a little bit as far as his volume goes. Okay, now to set his volume, you press this little button right here. So we'll press it, and these are some games that you can play with him. And we'll have to try these out, but now this is the settings right... Where is it? There it is. Okay, now uh, we tap that. Okay, so now this side is for the brightness of his screen, and this side is for his volume. Let me see. Okay, so it sounds like he's at the loudest volume he's at. All right, I'll probably not keep him this loud normally, but for the sake of recording this, we'll do that. Okay, so then once he's done with that, I guess you hit this one more time. And then when he's back to the heart, you just tap this. And then that gets him back to normal. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Now, he's got some sensors on him. If you pick him up, he doesn't like that. Uh, okay. It's funny how a lot of these robots... <laughs> I guess he's really happy to be, have his feet back on the ground. So he doesn't come off from the base, and he doesn't walk around. He stays in place on the base. Let me see if we touch him. Okay, so I guess you don't actually, like, pet him over and over. You just touch him. And then down here, let's see what he does. There's, let me see if I can touch that sensor on the front. Let me see the back. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty cool. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> okay. Guess he likes being tickled. I, at first, he was a little grouchy about all of this, but I guess he's okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so the animations are great. His screen is nice and uh, crisp and clean. Let me see here. Try this again. <laughs> okay, I don't know what he said right there. That was pretty funny. Let's try that again. <laughs> this is great. I guess he gives you little presents or something after you've had him enough times. Oh, 
Oh, that's awesome. I don't know how many animations he's got or how many uh, different graphics he's got, but they must have put a ton of them in here. Let me see if I can t tap his little belly again. It's kind of hard to find this one on the front. I got, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a little bit on the side there. He kind of reminds me of Cousin It from the Adams Family, the way he sounds. <laughs> okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah, the belling one's harder to find. It's almost like you have to kind of search for that one. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Okay, let's try some of the game. Okay, so I guess you can kind of upset him by tapping his head. Now, I'm not usually liking to have to abuse these little guys, but let's see what he does. Hmm. All right, let's see. If, supposedly he can feel that, like, if you hit the table. Oh, he, he reacted a little bit there. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know, they say, <laughs> all right, well, I don't know about that. Okay, let's go back to the games. Okay, so the first game is called Left or Right, so let's do that. Uh, let's see, I think, is that it? No, it's got to be this one. Okay, so this is Left or Right, so we select by tapping his head. Okay, so he's going to mix them up. And then I think you turn his arm. Okay, I guess I, I guess I got that one. Let's try the left. Uh, okay, that was some candy. <laughs> That's cool. Now they're eggs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was cool. That was the candy again. I don't know how many of these that, that he has. Oh, that was cool. Did you see the gold coins? Look at that. Oh, okay. Let me see here. <laughs> okay, I guess I selected wrong on that one. Hmm, which one's got the bomb in it? Let's try that one. All right. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> All right, now, I'm not sure how you get out of this. Let me see. Do you push this? I think you just hit the select button again. Now, I don't know what this does. Let's try that. Oh, okay, that's reset. That brings him back to his normal self. Okay, let's try the next game. Okay, so the next one is called Dance to the Beat, so let's get to that one, which is, uh, is that it? No, it's not that one. I think it's that one. The graphic on the instructions looks different than these. There's some timers, too. That's settings. Um, I'm sure. Let's try this. Let's see what this is. Hello? I think the, oh here we go oh that's cool <laughs> the sound is really good Pretty good speakers on him. All right, let's stop him. Okay, so what it is is it, it's how many times you clap or how fast you clap. So let's try it. Okay, well now he was just listening to my voice. <laughs> oh wow! 
So this is obviously the faster song. <laughs> oh, the graphics are great. All right, let's stop that. Let's do medium. That's cool. So there's a slow, medium, and fast beat kind of music. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. <laughs> so I don't know how many songs he's got. I guess we'll just have to keep experimenting and try it out. Oh, that's wild. Look how good he moves. The, the motors are fantastic. Okay, let's get out of this. All right, so I'm starting to learn this a little bit. Okay, this is cool. Uh, I mean, it's nice that they got all kinds of little functions in there. Okay, let's try this one. This is where he kind of parrots what you say. Um, let's see. Is it this? I think it's this one. Okay, so let's select this. Eilek, how are you? <laughs> That's hilarious. Eilek. How are you doing, buddy? Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure how long that goes on. <laughs> All right, let me stop this a minute. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not sure how long that recording goes on. And that's the only recording that it does. They wanted to make it clear that he doesn't record anything that you're saying or doing. It's just for that purpose only. Okay, so my eyelid just got stuck. They said if that happens, you press and hold this for 10 seconds, and then you'll kind of hear a sound, and then you turn it back on, and then he's okay again. Um, now, I will also say that you can upload a, uh, an update on him, but it only works with Windows and uh, iOS, and I own a Chromebook, and when I tried to download the software, it didn't work, so um, <laughs> I didn't want him to get bored. Uh, <laughs> So it won't work with my Chromebook. I just emailed Energize Lab and hopefully they'll say something about it. I kind of wish they would have just had a, an app like Emo and Vector has and then you can just upload any updates from the app. That would be a whole lot easier. Hopefully that's something they'll do in the future. All right, well now let's try this game. I was trying this before. Hopefully I can get it to work now. So it's this little shooting game right here. All right, so now you select which game, uh, which weapon you want. Um, let's try that one. Alright, so now you, you try to shoot this. Let's see. I guess you just shoot it. I guess you tap it to shoot it. Oh, I see. When, this, when the uh, crosshairs reach the monster. Hmm, I think. <laughs> oh, I see. I guess you just shoot him as soon as he's in the crosshairs. And I think you can level up to a different le level as well. <laughs> I love all the, the guts. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the game here. Alright. I mean, he's already in the crosshairs when it starts, so I'm not sure. It seems like it would move back and forth and you're supposed to line it up. Oh, maybe you're supposed to shoot it before he gets to you, maybe. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> I guess I didn't do well on that. All right, let's try this again. We'll select uh, this one again. And we'll try to be a little bit quicker. I think it's a fast-paced game, so you have to go a little bit quick on it. So as soon as those appear, I guess, is when you got to shoot at them. So we'll keep trying this and see what it does. <laughs> So you don't want him to get you is the, the name of the game here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. He, it's get much, it gets more difficult here. Ah, I missed him. Oh, I see. He's transfer, transformed into this weird-looking spidery thing. All right. Ha, ha, ha. 
looks like he went back to his, he's easier when he's in this shape. Oh, it looks like he got me there. Oh, he got me again. Ah! Okay, so I guess I'm not that quick. <laughs> All right, let's try the puppet one. I'm not really sure what this does either. Let me see, there it is. Okay, so we'll select that. And then you're supposed to turn his hands and his head. Oh, okay, and then let's try that. All right, what happened? Oh, I see you can select. Hmm. I guess maybe it's just to run through all the uh, different, to run through all the different expressions maybe. Looks like, oh wow, look how big his eyes are. So it looks like he's got quite a few different expressions here. Hmm. All right, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, he's got a lot of expressions. All right, well, maybe that's what that is. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's try out these little food pieces that they give you. Let's start with this little coffee cup that we put on his, uh, his hand right there. Now, I don't know what he actually does with that. Let's see. Hmm, I don't know if there's any kind of a different reaction once he has that on. Okay, uh, let me see if they stick to both hands. Let's try this little drink. Actually, that one's opposite. Hmm, it looks like I may have to uh, change the way that that one's on there. Let's see if this one works. Oh, there we go. There's a piece of cake right there. Okay, so I don't think these matter. Uh, you know, it's just a magnet on there. It's not like they're encoded with anything to give him a, a you know specific reactions and I sh should also mention that these magnets uh, you know they give you this sheet of stickers right here and what it is it's kind of like double stick tape but these are terrible they don't work very well at all in fact I had to super glue these pieces on here and the problem is I've just now noticed that I'm getting an opposite reaction to this let me see if it sticks to the well I guess you can put it on that way but, you know, uh, you have to make sure you got the right polarity on it because some of these aren't going to fit. Let's see if this one does. I'm not even sure what this little piece of food is. So I guess you can have it go that way. Let me see if he... <laughs> oh, gosh, the graphics are fantastic. So, yeah, and you can buy more of these little food pieces. They give you five of these as it is they give you five different ones and then you can purchase more and they got a whole bunch of different ones as well so I should mention um, this little guy here re re he retails for hundred and fifty dollars I think it's on sale for hundred fifty dollars as of the making of this video uh, I, I don't think it'll ever go up to the full retail because they really want you I think they want a lot of people you know to initially find out about them <laughs> I'm, I'm loving all the different reactions because, I mean, I, I'm sure I haven't seen all of them. <laughs> That's great. But now, as I mentioned, um, the update only works with Windows and iOS on your computer. I really wish they had an app for this like they did for, like, they, like uh, Emo and, and Vector does. It's just a whole lot easier to do it that way. Although those guys are connected to Wi-Fi, this guy is not connected to Wi-Fi. He just kind of runs on his own. <laughs> and so that's probably why. Uh, so I, I, like I said, I have a Chromebook and it doesn't work on a Chromebook. So I don't know what I'm going to do when it comes to updates because um, they said that they are going to uh, keep doing updates on them and add different kinds of um, animations and stuff. So it looks like I'm going to miss out on that because I'm not going to be able to do the update. Hopefully they'll come up with a, uh, something about that. I did email them and they said that maybe I can borrow somebody's computer or something like that to do it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, that's not an option for people that are using uh, the Chromebooks, unfortunately. So his battery will last about an hour and a half with constant interaction with him. And then it takes about a half an hour to uh, recharge him. So it's, that's not really a bad time frame. 
<laughs> man. He's pretty dang cute, I gotta say. <laughs> All right, well, you know, I'm not really sure what to think about this little guy yet. I, he's really cute. I think he's neat, and I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I th The reactions are cute. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen that one before. And so, yeah, it's fun to play around with him. So because he doesn't move around on your desk and stuff, it kind of makes it a little easier as far as not having to have room for him. So he doesn't take up a, you know, a large footprint and stuff like that, and I think he's definitely kind of fun. It'll be interesting to see what else they come up with when it comes to him, but I, I like I said, I'm not going to be able to update him. Now, uh, I'll do a separate video because it turns out, as I mentioned, that if you look at the side of him right here, <laughs> I guess he got a kick out of that. Um, he's got the little connectors right here, and they're magnetic. And what you can do is connect another ILIC, and they'll interact with each other. So I'm going to try to see what that looks like, because I did, in fact, buy another ILIC right here. So I will take him out of the box, and then we'll connect them and see what they can do. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in getting one of these, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, and you can kind of check it out and see if you want to get one or not. But I will see you on the next video when we get these two together, and we'll see what they act like when they are interacting Oh man, endless craziness that goes on with these guys. I think they're even more fun when they interact with each other. All right, well anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd really appreciate that, and I will see you on the next video. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good one. <laughs>